All the businesses closing, people losing their jobs, constantly being stuck indoors and everything that comes with it is really taking a toll on people. Officials say right now it is critical that people stay vigilant and safe so we can bring the pandemic to an end. Elise Haas joins us live with how people are feeling about COVID fatigue. Elise. Jenny, it's not easy, not easy for anybody, but we've also been staying in really close contact with our public health officials like uh, Tri-County Health Officer Dr. Jennifer Vines and State Health Officer Dr. Dean Seislinger. And they say that we all need to be really realistic about these vaccines because they say it's going to take time for everyone to get them. And while it's still very exciting that they're extremely effective, most of the general public, they say, won't be able to get it until at least the spring. On top of that, I spent time talking to Dr. Seidlinger and he explained to me that building up immunity will take time in and of itself and that because these vaccines have two shots and they have to be three weeks apart, it can take up to six weeks or more for your body to build up immunity to COVID-19. On top of that, vaccine rollout is going fine, they say, but not as fast as Oregon's public health leaders would really like. Health officials say this is why everyone needs to remain diligent about preventing the spread so we can battle the virus both ways. But the good news here is that when we went out to talk to people, most of the folks we talk to say that they are not letting up on COVID-19 guidelines. It really forces me to be very considerate. I'm one of those people. <laughs> I carry several masks on me throughout the day in order to change them. I have like four other ones in my bag. And like I said, I carry wipes, alcohol wipes, and sanitizer on me as well. Most of the people that we see downtown in the Portland area and the surrounding neighborhoods are always wearing a mask indoors and outdoors. And Dr. Seidlinger tells me that that mask wearing along with social distancing, minimizing, you know, contact with people and all of the sacrifices that Oregonians have made is why Oregon is honestly in a better place than surrounding states and other places across the country. So they hope that Oregonians can keep that up while they work diligently to distribute this vaccine. Ken and Jenny. Thank you, Lise. The fight against COVID-19 